Enclosed in a cube, this artist has staged an original exhibition at a gallery in Marseille on the suffering of a lockdown, in particular the suffering of museums in this time of coronavirus. The idea is to truly express the solidarity that we've seen a bit during the lockdowns. But I feel it's being forgotten about around Christmas time, where we've reached a period that's becoming non-essential. For many museums and cultural directors, non-essential is a term that invokes a sense of injustice. At the Centre Pompidou in Metz, lenders have made sure an exhibition of the works of Marc Chagall can be extended for a month. But in Nantes, at La Baie Frontreau, which features a number of contemporary artists, it's a hardship. It's really awful for us to ask us to do the opposite of what we're used to doing as a profession. So it's a heartbreak. Some museums are finding ways to take advantage of the downtime. At the Toulouse-Lautrec Museum in Albi, employees are taking inventory of the museum's 9,000 works. I'm a museum guide, so this is a big change for me. It's exciting because we get to learn about the works we weren't familiar with. Heritage sites have also fallen on hard times, including the Chateau de Chantilly, north of Paris. Three quarters of revenue is from the visitors. Aside from that, there's revenue coming from renting the castle for parties. But the whole of 2020 is lost regarding events. And the first half of 2021 isn't looking very good either. This year, the castle's Christmas lights will only shine on social media.